Hey peeps and welcome to a really really quick and short video on this special edition Class 66. This is in Fastline Freight livery and it's, well, it's special for several reasons. One, it's really hard to get hold of now. Two, it is a limited edition and the um, official certificate is inside just there. Uh, and three, it's been sent in by the most patient lad in the world ever. <laughs> this was sent in before Christmas by um, a Thomas Merrion from Doncaster and I want to thank him so much for being patient with it. We have done a bit of work on the locomotive though. It did have actually, it had some, um, it had some problems with one of its bogies. It kept, it, it kept falling away basically. So we have fixed that and I think we did do a video on it. So it is running now like an absolute dream. Um, but he has been so patient uh, whilst it's been sat here at Crew Works. Uh, waiting for other things to come in and go out. So, um, well, what is there to say about it? It's just fantastic, isn't it? Let's just have a look at this um, this certificate. So there's the actual locomotive itself, and here is the official certificate, which Thomas must be very, very proud of, by the way. So it's a Rail Express limited edition, uh, certificate number 971 of just a thousand units. It's a double O gauge, class 66, in the Fastline freight livery, which is not only now really hard to get hold of, but Fastline are actually defunct as well. They, I think they were established in the mid 90s and then they sort of went into administration about five or 10 years ago, something like that. I think it was about 10 years ago. Maybe it was five years ago. I'm not sure. It wasn't very long ago. Um, unfortunately, they aren't around anymore. And so they, had a, they operated a fleet of not just 66s, which they used on a lot of coal ones, they also used class 56s. And I'm pretty sure that one of those 56s is now at Barrow Hill. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Uh, as for the rest, well, I think they were absorbed. I think they were taken by taken on by DRS and Malcolm Rail and various other companies. So they're still in use, most of the, most of the locomotives are, which is really good. So yes, this is just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, what a model. I've never seen anything like this. Um, I have done a review on the 66 and it's going to pop up onto screen just now. So there you go, please do go check it out, that's one of the new fancy YouTube cards. Go have a look at it, tell me what you think. Um, I hope that works, otherwise I'll, that'll just sound like an absolute fool, but I think you can decide when it pops up. If not, it's either been there right from the start or it'll pop up, it'll pop up at the end. But here we go, so it's beautiful, it's a uh, beautiful packaging, Batman's really really nice and safe and secure block of ice packaging, and there it is, frozen inside. Just look at this livery. This isn't going to be a typical review because, as I say, it's, it is exactly the same model as the Class 66 in EWS that I have. Uh, I do a quick glance around to see if I can see it, and I can't, it must be in the other room. But it is honestly identical. Um, it's just the livery application that's different. I mean, just look at that though. Beautiful. And you couldn't do this um, when it arrived because one of these bogies here, one of the, the frames around the bogies fell away and it kept falling away every time you tried to, to hold it. But we have fixed that. Um, we didn't use super glue, we used just like a, a blob of um, a glue gun glue in the end just to hold it into place. So if Thomas wants to take it off again, he can do so, it's, it's nothing permanent. But you've got sprung buffers, you've got lights, you've got, well, <laughs> everything. Loads of um, underframe detail, you've got rivets, you've got fan, um, fan grills and stuff on the top. It really is a beautiful model. This is just, this is just exquisite. It really, really is beautiful. But the livery is spot on. Just look at that. Absolutely. Gorgeous. And do you know what would be really good, what would work really well, is weathering it. Because these were used on coal loads, so you could really weather this and make it look stunning. <laughs> That's probably what I would do if it was mine, but it's not. It belongs to Thomas, so I'm not going to do anything. Uh, I've already done enough in terms of uh, fixing that bogey, uh, which I'm sure he'll appreciate. So yeah, there's nothing left to say really, because it is just like the 66 I did a while ago. It's beautiful. I'm going to put it on the track with my EWS 66 and we're going to do a double heading special for you.